it's imperative that you use a monitoring system. We talked about how we use it to like look at all our different sleep cycles. We use those same monitoring systems to give us an idea of the athlete's uh, accumulated stress for the day and kind of their readiness to train. There are a bunch of different monitoring systems that you can use. We personally use WHOOP. Uh, there's the R-Ring that I mentioned earlier. There's also um, some HRV monitoring techniques. And all of these things are just designed to give you a picture of how your body is managing stress. So, for example, if your body's under a lot of stress, you're gonna have an elevated heart rate and those sort of things. And we have these monitoring systems that point that out. And what you can do is you can gather that data and determine what you need to do with training that day, okay? Just because somebody shows up on a monitoring system and they're not in peak uh, performance or peak training condition, that doesn't mean we don't train. It doesn't mean we don't train hard. It just means that we have to take that data into consideration and understand that we're walking a fine line between optimum performance and too much stress and too much strain. Okay, so at Lift Lab, we use that monitoring system. We check in with the athletes daily. We look at what they're doing. We make any adjustments that we need to make in their program. Okay, if there's no adjustments being made, then they're just going full on with their training for that day. A big thing that uh, people kind of question they, and they want to know about is it's great to monitor and to look at your ability to recover and it's great to identify that you need to have a little bit more recovery but what are some recovery modalities that I can do as a full-time working stiff okay so not everybody is you know one of these Instagram dudes that just appear to work out for a living so they can spend you know two hours getting massage treatment acupuncture cupping, Norma Tech recovery, ice tub, cold tub, hot tub. They can do all those things because they appear to have an infinite amount of time. All right, well, I already touched on the importance of sleep. Sleep's your number one recovery modality. But if you need like a fast and efficient and effective recovery method, you can use contrast therapy. All right, so one of the things we do is we don't have hot and cold tubs here at the gym, but Athletes can utilize contrast therapy, meaning taking their body from a warm state to a cool state and repeated, repeatedly doing that. They can do it at home. Okay, so it's real simple. To contrast therapy forces your body to constrict and relax, constrict and relax. Okay, so when you constrict, blood's out. When you relax, blood's in. Okay, it's that simple. The more blood that circulates through your system, the more nutrients and oxygen can get delivered and the faster your body can get to repairing itself. Okay, if you want to experience that contrast therapy, you only need a water temperature of 57 degrees on the cool end. Okay, this is really easy to obtain. Turn on your shower, turn it to cold. It's probably cooler than 57 degrees. Okay, so how does it work? You get a $2.00 or what, hell, now you don't even need a kitchen timer, you can just use your iPhone. But you set your timer, you do a minute of cold, two minutes of hot for 15 minutes. Okay, that may not, and you just let that water beat down on your neck where all the nerves and, and all the signaling can, can easily be accessed. Okay, anybody can do that as a part of their daily routine. It's 15 minutes. All right, so that's step one. At Lift Lab, we use the Normatec Recovery. Again, it's all predicated on this compression and relaxation to, to promote blood flow. Uh, it's just something that we believe in. We also are very fortunate. We have a chiropractor who's on staff, and he can do acupuncture, the dry needling, cupping, uh, a manual release therapy where he's actually in there with his hands putting you in the right position. I always joke it's the crack and stack where you he snaps your back and it pops and it feels great. You don't know how or why it works. It's kind of like magic. Uh, we have that ability here, and that's something that our athletes experience. And uh, it was body tempering, grass, and like all the techniques and all the, the recovery modalities you would want are right here. Not everybody's afforded that luxury. Like we're pretty fortunate to have that set up here. But when we created Lift Lab, we wanted it to be an environment that was all encompassing. And would take care of the athlete's total need. Okay, so training is only one aspect. The ability to recover is maybe even a more vital aspect of training because it's the rate limiting factor to how hard you can push yourself. All right, so we surround ourselves with a high quality, high achieving 
highly driven individuals to help our athletes with uh, their optimal performance.